So ever since I published that last video, I've had healing on my mind. In case you didn't see it, I made a video about the Healy Frequency Wellness Device and the positive effects that I've seen in my life since using it. But as we saw, the comments on that video were very negative compared to normal. Although interestingly, the like to dislike ratio was still overwhelmingly positive, over 91%. Still, some people were upset because they felt I was going back on the things I had talked about before, such as healing through the power of thought, meditation, prayer, and holistic eating among other things. Of course, another large upset was that the Healy was expensive and some people think that it's a scam, but let's tackle these one at a time. So following publishing that video, this past weekend, I was invited to watch a movie called Source. It's a new film by Dr. Joe Dispenza, which gets into the serious scientific research behind what they're seeing at their large group events. These remarkable miracles, like seeing cancer and other diseases going away from nothing but large group meditations in less than a week. It's very similar to all those stories that we talked about a few months ago, based on his book, You Are the Placebo, where the power of thought and belief have been shown to significantly affect everything from healing diseases to even reverse aging. It's seriously profound stuff. In fact, I'm gonna do a video talking about Source soon because there's an opportunity coming next week to watch the movie for free for a few days. And the more people that know about it, the better. Now, one thing on the subject of healing, you might remember another video we did a few years ago, The Principles of Healing Disease, which was based on the work of Yogananda, who explained that health was a result of an abundance of life force energy in the body. And disease was a lack of life force current flowing through. And that healing took place when the life force current returned. That's what healing is. Now, there are many ways of helping to restore the life force current too, which includes connecting to source within using meditation techniques, eating healthy or holistic food, like food that has lots of prana or life force in it too, or even through modern medicine. However, some methods are more powerful than others. And this is where all of my thoughts collided regarding the comments about the Healy. We do have this latent power of healing through connecting with spirit. Joe Dispenza's work is a very powerful demonstration of that today in a huge way. But we also have to factor in collective consciousness here. Joe Dispenza's groups bring hundreds of people together to create coherence in their collective field, which is why even skeptics end up seeing results where they might not otherwise have that experience if they were meditating on their own. It's the same thing with the Maharishi effect. Large mass group meditations affect the surrounding environment and reduce crime rates and such in a huge way. We also see the same thing happening with plant medicine ceremonies, such as what happens at Rhythmia Life Advancement Center. Ayahuasca is powerful, certainly, but part of the transformational magic of those ceremonies is the coherence of the group healing together, as well as the spiritual mastery of the shamans, leading the groups through the journey of a night or a week of transformation. Needless to say, there's a lot of factors involved in the various dimensions of restoring health or life force to the body. So then all of this got me asking myself, is it wrong to use technology to support the healing process? Especially because not everyone has the availability or time to go stop everything in life to hang out with Joe Dispenza for a week or try a similar kind of retreat. Over the years, I have received so many messages from people asking for guidance because they are surrounded by relatively negative people. No offense. People have asked so often what to do when everyone around them seems so rooted to lower patterns of behavior that keep them tethered to ego consciousness and are unwilling to see the world outside of their own narrow perspective or only listening to one side of a conversation and either ignoring or fighting anyone who disagrees with them. I know it's a lot to deal with, right? And where my thoughts brought me was basically, you know, as a species, I think we need all the help that we can get. We need more retreats, more community, more love, more connection, more open-mindedness, totally. But we also need to use all of the wisdom and resources that we have available to us to the best of our ability. And that includes holistic technology. Now, of course, it's very possible that the Healy doesn't do much and everyone benefiting from it is just using a placebo. But learning about its founder makes me think, maybe not. Marcus Schmieke is a graduate of physics and philosophy at Heidelberg and Hanover. And he also spent many years traveling through India, living as a monk in monasteries to gain insight into the spiritual side of the world and learning about consciousness. I just can't see someone with such spiritual devotion wanting to scam people for material gain. This man over the years has spent many millions of dollars investing in holistic research and quantum field research and finding a way to use microcurrents to affect the human energy field. Though to be clear, to be very clear, I am not saying this as if to purport that Healy is the answer to all of our problems. Love and truth and wisdom are, and that's always my bottom line. But when I took all of these thoughts inside and then meditated upon them, what came to me was that in my experience, this little device seemed to help me create more coherence and stability within my own energy 
adding to my already effort-filled activity of being healthy. I found it to support the process, not replace it. And perhaps that was something that should have been described more thoroughly in the first video. And if it really is a placebo, what's weird is the way that it just kind of worked. What I mean to say is I didn't start using it thinking this was gonna solve my problems. I just gave it a try. And then the next thing you know, my chest pain and knee pain were greatly reduced and sleep improved. That's it. And I just went, holy crap. Well, I should talk about this. Regarding the other pain point from that video, the price. Honestly, I feel like I have to call Healy out on this one because they've clearly been marketing their devices to the premium audiences of the world so far, which I also don't think is intrinsically wrong. It's the same model Elon Musk used to start Tesla, make a premium high-end roadster, and then use the profits of that to make it more available and mass produced. They really do have a multi-million dollar laboratory backing this thing, so the model kind of makes sense. But where I want to call Healy out on is that when you go to visit their shop, their website's a little clunky, and it does take some considerable scrolling to find their version of the Tesla Model 3, the Healy Gold. I think that that should be listed at the top, and I really don't blame the people who did get upset. This technology exists on the fringe of science, but that's because mainstream science doesn't yet acknowledge the existence of any relationship between the quantum field, thought, emotion, or consciousness. And just because they don't acknowledge that doesn't mean the connection isn't there. Just like how people laughed at Michael Faraday or otherwise ignored him as he was helping to discover the electromagnetic field. Seriously, he and the others involved in that process were ridiculed by their peers for a long time. So at the end of the day, for me personally, I want to explore and discuss all of the ways that we can heal and get closer to embodying the light of our soul. And there's a lot of really cool technology out there that helps us to do that. You might also remember our video about pyramid power and how the inside of pyramid structures have powerful magnetic effects on the objects and people inside, as well as effects on things outside of them. I recently met some friends who have actually made a pyramid healing center in the town where I live. It's amazing. And I can't wait to talk about these guys too. But for now, while I know that Healy is not really for everyone, I do think based on my experience that there's probably some people watching this who it could benefit. And if you are still curious and you do wanna learn more, you can find a link in the description to explore. As some also pointed out, yes, if you order one using the link below, you'll also be supporting spirit science in the process. But I genuinely wouldn't have made that video if I didn't have a good experience with it. Also, I only recommend trying it out if you are someone who is sensitive to subtle energies and are willing to work with those frequencies to raise your vibration through meditation and deep inner work. And hey, if you get one and don't like it, just return it. Like why spend a lot of time being bent out of shape? So yeah, these are some of my thoughts about healing since the last video along with technology and stuff like that. I hope this resonates and please continue to share your thoughts in the comments below. I love you lots and appreciate all of the feedback. Namaste.